Metro Detroiters know the dangers lead pipes can cause better than most with the Flint water crisis unfolding so close to home. Yeah, and now a new pilot program in the city of Detroit is helping to replace lead pipes. Coco McAvoy joins us live with who's eligible here, Coco. Good afternoon. Crews are replacing water mains that are worn in specific neighborhoods. And while they replace those water mains, they're also fixing the lead pipes. They're removing them and replacing them with copper pipes. Now they've been going door to door in neighborhoods, handing out these flyers to make sure residents know about their new pilot program. And as you can see here on Mansfield Street on Detroit's west side, the equipment is already out. The Detroit Water and Sewerage Department is busy at work on a new pilot program. We're going to spend 400 to 500 million dollars replacing water mains and renewing the infrastructure of Detroit. Gary Brown, the director of the department, says crews are looking for lead pipes and when they find them, they're replacing them at no cost to the homeowner. While we're replacing the water main and we have the, the, the lead line exposed, we want to pull it, pull it out and put in a new copper line. Residents are willing to put up with the inconvenience for safe pipes. All that problem that they had in Flint, it, you know, even brings up your attention to make sure that you're drinking clear water. The department has had this plan in the works for over a year to avoid a disaster in Detroit. There's only one, one way to guarantee Flint never happens, and that's to remove the lead service lines out of the system. There are 125,000 lead service lines in the city of Detroit to tackle. This new program is a start to getting rid of all of them for good. Uh, we want to make sure that for generations to come, our kids and our grandkids will be safe and never uh, feel the effects of lead service lines again. And the project here on Mansfield Street will wrap up within the next month and then crews will move to a different street. Back to you. Coco, do we know how long it will take for the city to get rid of all those lead pipes? Do they at least have a goal in mind, I guess? So as Gary Brown mentioned, there are 125,000 lead pipes within the city. Yeah. So they're saying it would probably take up to 20 years to get rid of all of them. But this is a start. Yeah. All right, Coco.